You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. The gang. Hey, Albums what's out happening? right now. Migos. What's happening? And Coach we got the only people Dude. quality control. What's up, sir? What's happening? Hey, y'all getting a lot of money, man. Yes, yeah, sir. A lot of money. He said, yes, sir. Keeping God first, you know? That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. Of it. Hey, what, what exactly is culture to the Migos? We the way we bringing all the people together, the young gen generation. We making new music, keeping it fresh. And we the boys who started all this crazy flow, this crazy ice. We taking over the game. Yeah. And there's 24 songs on this new album. Now, we actually had to reschedule because I guess there was some type of last minute emergency. Before the album you said you had to fly out? back or something to fix a verse or something? Nah, you know, we were just on the PJ, figuring out the album at the same time. So you're on the private jet, figuring out the album, then trying to get to the private club. Nah, I don't want to Three happen. days before you the did. album came out, y'all didn't have it right yet? Yeah, we on the clock. We got we had, you know, you got to do the last minute test. You can't rush greatness. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Because back in the day, you used to have to submit your album so much earlier. And now, three days before, you could still make changes. We yeah. try to hold on to it long because, you know, albums be leaking. Mm -hmm. We ain't doing Somehow, that. some way. Mm -hmm. how, how come so many songs this time? 24 is a lot. It's a culture two and three. It's an anniversary, and it's been a year. Mm -hmm. Been a year since we dropped our last album. That's all. We yeah. got so many songs, it's only right. Y'all, be, you've been producing and mixing though, right? Because I mean, early on, y'all didn't have the, the, the budgets and all of that to do, so you've been doing that, right? Yeah, no, we had the budget for sure. <laughs> but, 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 but we just always were in house and did it, did it in house. Cause some, cause when you make music, a lot of engineers don't know like the sound. They just know to mix it a, found, a traditional way. But I'm talking about early on, even before QC when y'all was with Gucci. We've been, we been in our lab ourselves, been hands on with our crap. Got right. to. Mm -hmm. Now, the interesting thing about y'all is y'all really hip hop heads, though. Like, I hear Offset referencing Wu Tang on the 21 Savage collaboration. And mm -hmm. Quavo, you said Jay is your favorite rapper. Why, why is it this stigma that y'all not uh, real hip hop? You pay homage to, to the OGs that paid the way for us. And I, li and I really listen to that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what. If you if you can say you don't know who these folks is, you got to be lying. I don't you got, care what you got, you're saying. And you got to know the game that you in. You know what I'm saying? You got to know who paid away, who came in the door first. Got to. How's it feel to be nominated for 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 some Grammys, especially with Grammys being on the, on the East Coast this time around, and, and it's cold as hell outside? How does that? that what's that feeling like? First, it's a blessing, but no. you know this what you do it for to get that trophy, you bring that home, like. Shit you feel is big. that the one thing that your your, your moms respect? Because moms always know the Grammys, like. Your moms might know not, you know, might not care about some of the other awards, but she, mommy know the Grammys. Mom do respect us, period. Mm -hmm. You know so, what I'm saying? Y'all just bought her a house. Shout out to mom. He did. Taking you. Mama. <laughs> How'd that feel to buy your mom the house, man? <laughs> feel good. Accomplishments on accomplishments. Blessings on blessings. That, we, ain't gotta, she, we ain't got to wait on another guy. She ain't got to wait on nobody, and she got it from her boys. That's the best the best ticket in the world for, for my mama. Is that something you had on like a vision board or something? Like I'm gonna buy my mama a house. Is that the feeling like I made it now? We bought, me and Take out bought my mama a house. All right. And we had to, we got to, got seems, to take care of mama. Seems like you guys got your business together. Most artists don't usually have their business together until it's too late. What what gave y'all the sense to have your, your shit together? Be it all right though. Have a good structure. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you know have a good foundation. foundation. And then when that bag come in, extra different. You gotta. You can't move the same way how you move when you first got some money. You know and keeping it real. You be on the ass, P? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you telling them not to waste their money, or are you just? No, nah, man. I just try to instill in them the same things I was taught coming up. You know, they young. They getting money right now. They came in getting money. Like people don't know. I mean, it was a real grind for us, but people don't know. Like when we first started. They, they came in with money, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You know, we were grinding. We we were grinding out there in the street, but, you know, you ask them folks in the streets at Atlanta Migos, they, they came in doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? So, I was not, listening, listening to uh, Cardi B talk about Offset, inspiring her to, to get a business manager and to get a, a lawyer and all that, and most of the times you don't necessarily hear that because most times when artists get money, it's, it's so new, they just spend. How did, how did you have that mind frame? Like, I know I need to get this, I need to get that, I need to get this. Like, where did you get that mind frame and business sense from? But when we came in the game, like I said, Big Dog put it on me. Like he came in teaching us whatever he learned. You know what I'm saying? It was a, it was a, whatever he learned. I learned at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then I know she had just she had just transferred from not really in the music to having a real hit singer. So that money coming in, you got to clean that up. I'm a player. I ain't gonna leave a 
to have the money not to have the money not straight. You know he said saying? you got to clean that up. You know he's still thinking old days. I got to clean that money up. <laughs> it's clean now. It's clean. <laughs> now you got to clean the business up. That's right, what right, I mean. Right. Not the right. money. The business <laughs> behind the money. You know what I'm saying? He said laundry. But y'all like second, third generation millionaires in Atlanta though. It ain't like money new to black folks in Atlanta. Especially right. young black black folks. Everybody got money. You know Atlanta, black Hollywood. Everybody got everybody it's got beautiful money. Beautiful like cars, superstars. You know what I'm saying? Us. You know, we the wave. Why, why you think the sound in Atlanta is accepted all around the world? Like it's a, cause y'all hood niggas, man. Y'all smell like loud right now, but the sound is accepted <laughs> all around the world. Why? Cause, cause it's, uh, it's it's authentic. It's real. Um, it's fun. Shit, natural. It's all not right. too much thought. You know what I'm saying? It's not too much. It's not too deep. You could get deep, but it ain't really too deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more yeah. enjoyable music, more <laughs> enjoyable vibe. It's the hottest shit in the streets. Hey, you know what else is great? You guys say that everybody's in the field, nobody's in the bleachers. And y'all have all done your own thing, like, individually. But you guys support each other. Like, Take Off, you have the album coming, the mixtape with Yachty. Is it an album or a mixtape? Just wait on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you too much. I can't spill the beans too much. You just mm-hmm. know it's on the way. All right, is it almost done? Oh, it's finished. It's Please. finished. Yeah, you know, already in the rap. Mm-hmm. I saw a tweet this morning that was interesting. It said, Young Rich Nigga 2 was Quavo's album, Culture was Offset's album, and yeah. Culture 2 is Takeoff's album. Yeah, it seems like individually, because first it was like Quavo, then it was like Offset, now it's like Takeoff. Is that purposely oh, done? Nah. This, Everybody this, got their own time. Yeah, Everybody got the drip, man. It's all about time. Mm-hmm. It's all in one bowl. Yeah, we're so. one. We're we we all in one bowl, so every piece is special. It ain't like, that's why. We ain't like nobody else. Mm-hmm. Everybody powerful. I ain't no weak link. How do y'all make sure y'all stay together as a team? Because usually this is around the time when we start seeing teams start dispersing a little bit, breaking up and beefing and bickering. It's real family right here. Blood. I mean, we have been through everything. Mm-hmm. We ain't get it like everybody either. I feel like we went through more stuff. Nigga was sleeping on that. Nigga was telling us we ain't. Nigga was tripping. You know what I'm saying? We had to really show people and make them wake up like, we the real deal. That also keep us together too, cause it ain't no, oh they, we kept it all the way. We started from the bottom. We ain't had no quick little hit. Then I don't feel like we came straight from the mud as one. That's why we gonna leave out as one. We still can do our own things, but we we support each other. You got to. We brothers. We ain't tripping about that. That's that's lick money. So I, re- I remember the, the the grind. I remember y- y'all did a club for me. It was Perfections, and at the time. I think I gave y'all three thousand dollars. That's how long ago it was. Dang, why you put that out? Because they nowhere near that now. <laughs> but I appreciate. Oh, y'all got to make that up next time. Envy asks. Yeah, y'all next to time do you got to overcharge now. for what they, you did. No, nah, but I appreciate. <laughs> but, I, but, I remember, but I remember seeing the grind back then and how hard they went. Next time, next time gonna be three hundred thousand. <laughs> now it's, <laughs> now it's three hundred. But but that's how that's how much the grind was. They they grinded it out, and at the time it, it was nobody believed, and they thought they were one hit wonders. And now that you know they proved the industry wrong. And I was and we was that. really independent. Don't forget that. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Really independent, on the charts, independent. And that's a relationship to I me really with DJ Envy. I don't like, think I, I don't remember. It's that. I ain't never took no three thousand dollars. I'm saying that. That wasn't no Listen, that wasn't no early fourteen seventy nine day when Cold K was just on that. Um, it was just for promo. For promo. Looking back at my. Oh, oh, so Kay oh, told y'all it was for free, but he took the three thousand oh, dollars. Wow. But you know what? That might have went to their single travel day. expenses. <laughs> nah, nah, I just don't remember you trying to pay that. <laughs> <laughs> that fee too low, my brother. <laughs> no, that was that was about ten ten years ago. I'm just fucking. Ten with years you. ago. It was about ten. It was. Long. Oh, I don't even think I was here. They ain't been out ten years. Yeah, yeah, ten, ten years, years ago. Stop it. Knock it off. Seven. It was a long time. Two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirteen. What's the lowest y'all took for a club appearance or something? Y'all can remember. Oh shit! I first. It, it been free before. It been mm-hmm. a rack before. Shit. Yeah. The nigga had to get in the door. Was that just in Atlanta or just everywhere? Like, nah, that, before in states, bro. Four hours. Yeah. Five, Con- them little country town nigga trying to get in the car. We drove the car. Came. We don't been on the. We don't been in the bottom now. <laughs> You know That's what interesting because like? people even now might have been like, well, you know, I was there early on and I was booking you off for of stuff for three thousand dollars. I can't get no love now. Now what happens? Now you respect my grind. You got respect my work. Respect the, you got to. The, the evolution, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people get some love, I'm sure though. Some people get a little slight discount. You still get love, but you know what I'm yeah. saying you still gonna have to pay that. Wait, wait, we're, wait. we're gonna give you that Charlemagne. <laughs> 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 now, Quavo, we've been seeing you working with Iggy Azalea. What's going on with that? Because I assume. I'm sure your executive producing, maybe people are tapping you to do other stuff too. 
Quavo making music. Mm -hmm. They like the wave. We the wave. <laughs> Is there anybody you feel like you wouldn't get a sound to? Is that have you turned like you, you wouldn't do a song with or wouldn't do a project with? When the price is right, we can work. Mm -hmm. You think you can make somebody into a star? Yeah, you trying to record? Hey, ye. Hey. You trying to record? Am I? Oh, you want to do an dead, experiment? It, we can do, me make you a star. star. Let's do it. What make you think you can we sell got, a Yee got, project? We can do Yee, you know what I'm saying? Y'all will play Can't it up here. QC going to keep seeing the radio. We already got the pool. And they're paying $3,000 to come perform with. in the beginning. Paid $3,000. <laughs> I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not playing no Yee records. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> now, now, in Atlanta, what's the difference? I'm definitely not no Yee records. I'm going to diss you, and I'm going to diss you on it. <laughs> now, in Atlanta, what's the difference between people from the east side, west, west side, and the north? Like, is there a difference? We together, cause see, in QC team, we got the East, the West, and the North all on one team. You know what that made? The All Star Dream Team. That what it is. Yeah. See, in Atlanta, we don't got. A, it's, it's it's more love. I feel like than all the other cities, cause they be having one rapper, or they don't got no rapper. We be having five hours in the same studio. It be so in house. You, like y'all don't even know how close folks be in house. Like mm -hmm. it, everything be so small in the city. I don't think it's really no different. Everybody be moving the same way. I just know the North right now. You know we. We got the we 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 smashing we smashing right now you know now, now you 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 said you you, you love Wu Tang and you love Hov and listen to some of those lyrics early on it was disrespectful now people seem like they too sensitive do you got to watch in your lyrics what you say because it seems like the industry oh, yeah, they is got, way too sensitive they got on you for saying quit the other day we stuck up for you though I don't know if you heard we stuck up for you though I ain't know what that meant though on some real mm. I really ain't know what that meant like, you know what I didn't take it, it I didn't take it like way. I didn't take it like because that's a, the way. Been you, it's kind of. I really don't want to talk about that, but it's all love. I got love out everywhere. I don't know what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? I'm big on fashion myself. You know what I'm saying? So I got love for everybody. I ain't never been no discriminated on nobody. No. You used it in the proper context though. Like it just means weirdo. That's all it means. I was referring as like somebody can't put me on camera because it's a lot of my, even your friends. Like, like you might see your boy you ain't seen in a year, and you might turn around and he just got the camera on you. You ain't even know. I was talking about like that. Weirdo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't even get into that. Mm -hmm. Now you you don't get enough credit though, Offset man, for staying out of trouble. It was one point time you was in jail and out of jail. It seemed like you was the guy that was gonna be causing the most problems in the group. But you you clean out here. Got to clean it up, my boy. My boy <laughs> P, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we had the real talks. You know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying. You, we got to you got to clean it up. It ain't about that. I was moving fast when I first got out though. I I had just got out. Mm -hmm. Everything I, I ain't go through. The first, if everything I went through the bottom part, I still can't believe a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I, I had the big, I was feeling myself, so I was getting in trouble. I ain't with that no more. Mm -hmm. It's about recording, focus, get the money. When did you feel the switch happening? Was it was it after you uh, jumped off the stage and punched the dude, or like was it when you was in jail? Which one was it? It was just after all the, um, you know, you just look 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 back look back at yourself when you grow up, man. I be at home, might be recording. It ain't cool, you know what I'm saying? At one point, it was like. I wasn't trying to do it to be cool, but it was all right. It was getting by, but it just got to a point where it wasn't cool no more. Like, you tripping. You could lose everything you're playing. I ain't finna do that. Were then I just really, got focused. Were you ever really concerned, B? Uh, yeah, of course. Because, you know, they young, the spotlight on them. Um, people go to hey when you start getting money. You know what I'm saying? They they start getting money, like, real fast. And, you know, you got to watch out for the, the hating police. You got to watch out for the haters in the street. You know, we... We've been through a lot that a lot of people don't know about, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, people do know about because they document shootouts and all kind of crazy stuff. So I was really <laughs> concerned about, you know, their way of being. But, you know, you learn by making, you learn from your mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like all the mistakes that they, were, that they made and some of the bad, not mistakes, but just bad choices that they made back in the day that, you know, they, they, grew from them, you know what I'm saying? They understand that that one ain't gonna get them to the net level, you know what I'm saying? So, they good now, they young men. Quay, when you doing the, the Migos biopic, are y'all ready to talk about all of that type of stuff? Is the statute of limitations up on a lot of stuff? Nah, ain't no limitations, we, we Gucci. No, 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 now, I saw you guys were talking about um, Kanye produced a lot of songs that you didn't use on this album. So does that mean you guys have another album almost ready to go after this? Because I know you guys keep coming. 
Um, we just we just be recording records, mm -hmm. just recording records. It it wasn't necessarily for the culture album. We um did he got on he did bad bad bitches only. People probably don't even know that. that oh, the joint twenty one twenty one seven. So him Buddha me and um we all just got on the collab. But I brought the record to him and he played like three samples on it, and the shit just stuck with the bass line and it was a rap from there. Is Atlanta still the biggest influence on y'all musically? Take off? For sure. Um, we gonna make take off say something. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's where the drip come from. It's, that's that's where we be at, you know? So, yeah, you can say that. What about you, Quavo? Is that like, cause y'all you, you, all around the world, it's still the, the biggest influence on you musically? Got to. Can't, can't live nowhere, can't be nowhere without the A, you know what I'm saying? We got to be there getting all the, we, that's where our foundation at. You know what I'm saying? That's what we call home, so we gotta start from there. What's y'all favorite place that y'all been to in the world thus far? Cause we see y'all on the gram, all in the water, in these different exotic places. What's y'all favorite spot? That place that we was at? The Blue Lagoon. Yeah, that's Iceland. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll say cold. South Africa. I like South Africa. South Africa. Yeah. I heard the Blue it's, Lagoon uh, is dope. I heard it's, it's freezing cold, but they got little warm yeah. ice things. You could jump in the water and it's nice and warm. That's like big, that. big pools of like volcanic, volcanic, yeah. warm water, but it's on rock, so it's, that's the only reason why. That's the next trip I'm taking, fam, I heard it's dope. Why you like that's South Africa, Tego? It's just the vibe, it's just like so the we jungle. straight out the jungle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, country, <laughs> what country got the best pussy? I don't know, it's, just, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. America. <laughs> <laughs> I see, that's why I like <laughs> Offset. <I'm laughs> that's why I fuck with Offset. <laughs> Word. Oh, I'm saying going no up the same way. <laughs> now, on, on Superstar, <laughs> on, on Superstar of the Culture Two, um, you Quavo, you say you out of your element. Do y'all do y'all feel out of your element in the industry? Are y'all adapting to it? They adapting to us. They getting they they finally getting what we saying, cause we've been knocking at the door for a long time trying to get y'all to understand the game. But now y'all really like. Cut the own button on the ears and y'all fucking with us, so we appreciate it. Did y'all know it was gonna be like this? Yeah, yeah, that's what we dream for. You so, did for sure, for sure. Even the crossover success? It's what we do it for. I, I love it. I never doubted. I don't, I don't I never think doubted. you really. I believe. Uh, early. I ain't Who never believe. I believe. I actually I fucked the Migos the first time. Early. The first time y'all came up here really early. Oh, it can't on. be two people that bought us. Either you. Yeah. He said he bought us two. No, I was the one that did it because um, they were like, "Can we have the Migos up here?" And that's when y'all. No, she meant you meant radio. I'm in the club. Yeah, I'm in, in on the station. Y'all yeah. been yeah. coming to the Breakfast Club interview. for a long time now. Because before it was just Migo, it was Offset. I mean, Take On, Quavo, Take Off, off. Mm -hmm. take, off take Off, and Quavo, and Offset was locked up. Offset mm -hmm. called in from jail one time. Right, for sure. I tell you, right? Yeah, yeah. And because early been on, rocking, they've been rocking with us for for a minute, time. for a minute. Yeah. That's why we pull up every time y'all got to. Yeah, we appreciate it because y'all don't be that late either. I think sometimes people have a misconception like, oh, well, we told not eight o'clock this morning. We told and, eight and, eight and I ain't gonna lie, man. I've been <laughs> watching y'all. Y'all got a lot better in interviews lately, man. I've been watching y'all. It's like y'all finally realizing that y'all ain't drug dealers no more. So y'all actually talking like y'all ain't y'all ain't acting like y'all talking. Start, to the they start feeling like yeah, that's what they were feeling like a little interrogation rooms. You know what I mean? You know what I'm to speak to those. Right. But yeah, we're not. They didn't want to answer no question. You'd be like, so, when's Offset coming home? We can't talk about that right now. We'd be like, all right. Um. <laughs> now, Pete, do ever, you ever get nervous of, of too much music? Because there's a lot of Migos records that's catching. There's like, you know what I mean? I can name five. Do you work like, slow down, fellas, or you just like, keep going? No, nah, we're going we gonna to flood the market. Market share. Mm -hmm. we're, trying, we're, trying, <laughs> we're trying to get 80% of the market share and lead 20% to the world. Damn it, you greedy P. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't nah, like see, we a whole team. That's what make it not greedy, cause mm -hmm. a lot is we a team. Mm -hmm. The whole team got it. You see, if you come to the A, ain't nobody looking like us. If you go to New York, ain't nobody. LA, our whole team, Rafes, Lambo, when we go to the club, for real. Yeah, I don't I don't see it nowhere else. Mm -hmm. We need all of it. And then I feel like we got so got much. It, we music. got Atlanta looking like Dubai. You know how in Dubai that thing just back to back mm -hmm. transform a game. Yeah. Come on, pull your car down. I see you got a nice one. I'm swerving lane one time. And he said you got a nice one, like you only got I one. I covered them things. Just stunning on you. 
<laughs> what you what you got, <laughs> Charlemagne? What one you got? Uh, 2004 Cadillac. You can't swear the language again. Yeah. <laughs> 200,000 <laughs> miles on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you tell each other if you're doing a song and you don't like somebody's verse? Or you guys just let it rock? You know how we came up, for real though? That's how we came up. It's like, it ain't, like, it's, it's easy. I used to, listen, I used to do a verse and it'd be some, it'd be girls, homeboys. If it ain't hard, I'm talking about like, but what, like, we was like in eighth grade. Seventh grade in high mm-hmm. school. Oh, it get deleted right there. We ain't never had no pressure like telling you like, nah, bro, that ain't it. And it ain't never been taken like as no personal. Like if you tell me that, I know he right. I'ma delete it and I'ma go back in. It ain't like, bro, you you don't know what you're talking about. It ain't it ain't none of that. It's mm-hmm. just it's easy to work with each other like that. You know what, what I'm saying? What, with the side projects, what's the, what's the reason behind that? Like you and Twenty One or Quavo and Travis or the upcoming Yachty and Takeoff. Like what's the reason behind the, the side projects? Just showing versatility. Yeah. Just showing we can branch off and work. I mean, we 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 hit the game with all the features and fuck up the game with the features. We might as well put it on the project. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why, how, why them? Just because they family, they extended family, sort of. Sort of. Family. Yeah. The chemistry. Definitely. For sure. I yeah. wouldn't do no project with nobody. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Got good chemistry with and rock with. Right. And we all hot. You dig? Quavo, Qu- Qu- well, you said uh, Takeoff was the, the the best one out of the Migos. Yeah, we all the best. Or, yeah, <laughs> that, he the best. Now you like said yeah, that. you said he's the best lyrically. You know, Charlemagne has been saying that pretty from day one. Nobody listen to me, man. No, nobody listen to you. But <laughs> I mean, it it been like that just just growing yeah. up. You know what I mean? Just all the way growing up. He the, he the youngest, and I feel like he learned more from you know what I mean from his from his uncle. You know what I mean? His big cousin. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uncle. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and shit, and he soak it all in, and with his own craft being ahead of his time, being on our, you know, what I'm saying our age and our time, I feel like he got to be the best. But take off be rapping, he even confused Nicki Minaj because Nicki said he, she didn't realize uh, you was rapping about her on Motorsport. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> now with the album out, are you paying attention to what people are saying about it? <laughs> Like, are y'all looking with, with, uh, <laughs> with Culture 2 trending and everything? Oh are you looking at what people are saying? Um, Yeah, I look every now and then. I, I try not to look, but y'all be looking. Mm-hmm. Just check on it, see what's going on. Well, why you try not to look? You just want to be influenced by other people's... Just don't... You know, don't just, so I won't worry about it too much. Right. Just, let it, just let it go. Because I know what they're going to do. You just look at it too much, you get to thinking too hard. Mm-hmm. And it gets waiting, taking too long, or you just get this... You know what I'm saying? So just let it do its own along. Uh, Quavo, I saw you say that uh, Nick, Nicki and Cardi played themselves by not doing the video together. I ain't said they played themselves. Ebro said they played themselves. Oh. <laughs> I said I tried to get them all in the, in one shot. Mm-hmm. That's it. They didn't want to do it? I tried it to didn't get happen. them all in one shot. <laughs> the Scheduling conflicts? Schedule. I was put on schedule. That's your story. <laughs> 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 trying to help, Quavo. Schedule. Thank you. That was good. Now, what, do y- <laughs> what do y'all learn from Gucci, man? Because I always see y'all with Gucci. It's like every club appearance I see Gucci at, I either see P, I see you and uh, Off or Taker. It's always a, either together, it's always y'all. We just a real family. We came in the door together. We just been everything loyal. Like, I don't know who else to mind with in the city if it ain't D Boy. Period. He threw you a party, or you threw him a party, right, Say, Which no, one was it? Met Gala turned into a video. When we did the uh, Met Gala song, me and him, it was probably a little bachelorette party turned into a video, though. It turned out right, though. What advice <laughs> What advice does he give you? You know what I'm saying? Stay on these sucker neck. Don't be worried about no hating, Jay. Keep air time, air. What do you say? Air time, you see somebody hating, upload the link. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Upload the song. Mm-hmm. Be looking for that Glacier Boy project, too. Oh, yeah. What's the Glacier, Glacier. Boy? Glacier. Glacier Boy. You know when we get saying? together, that's what we call ourselves. Whole gang, just Glacier Boy. Glacier. It's, too, it's too much I too much money, too many cars all at one time. It's a Glacier. Glacier Boy. Now, y'all did the uh, Culture National Anthem. You say, my people prayed and take a knee. We don't need stripes because we got bright stars. Break that line down for me. We don't need stripes. We got stars. We got we got all our people that is powerful. We can stand together. That's what I mean by stars because we all bright. We can stand together. and. When you when you when you pray, you take a knee. So you pretty much kneeing anyway. So it's like when you standing for the national anthem, you saying a prayer for the before the game, making sure everything good, talking talking to God, getting yourself right. So it ain't nothing wrong with taking a knee because you still kneeing and praying at the same time. Or right. I've been seeing you give it back a lot. 
recently. I mean, I'm, I, we, they've been showing it more, and I love to see that. You've been going back to your high school and, and giving back. How much does that mean to you? I like it. I try to be like a superhero. I try to touch everybody I can. And starting with my town and starting my city first. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys, I think Takeoff just quit the group. <laughs> now you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go to the bathroom. You, you hey, I'm going to tell you something. If I go to jail with anybody, I'd love to go to jail with Takeoff. Takeoff ain't going to say nothing. You hear me? Takeoff ain't going to say a word. <laughs> Well, the album is out right now. Make sure you go pick it up, go stream it, and good luck on the Grammys. Wait a minute, does the Takeoff do this usually? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's no. enough. Because I saw y'all do this in LA, I think. Y'all just got up and left, but y'all had a flight to catch. No, no, take off. You had to go to the bathroom. They said the load, so you had to go to the bathroom. But you oh. gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, damn, take off? Take off, just bathroom. walked out. The bathroom, right? You took off. <laughs> in the middle of the interview? I thought he was having a Drew Hill moment. go to the bathroom. Damn it, man. Damn I don't know. Listen, I'm not a comedian, but there's a good uh, bad and bougie joke somewhere in here right now. Okay? No, wait. I got to ask y'all one last Crazy. thing. We have Valentine's Day coming up, right? Oh, boy. I want to hear some of you. What are some of your favorite love songs to play? Love song? Mm-hmm. I know you got a song. I'm just going to make my own song. I'm saying to my lover. <laughs> you I ain't really got no favorite one. You know what I'm saying? You got a playlist somewhere. Yeah, I know you do. You, gotta, you got to have a slow song playlist. Hmm. I ain't really, I don't know. I don't got no slow song. Come no on, y'all trying to act like y'all not soft. They play bad and bougie. They play their own song. Tell you. <laughs> Might cut that on. Go out, out your way. You know where you going out your way. You know what I'm saying? That's a slow one for you. That's a slow one. Out your way. Out your way. Hold on, oh, oh, you, know what? you people been been trying to get on you offset. They say you you out here cheating and all kind of stuff like that. False allegations, man. False allegations. Um, um, I told y'all false allegations. My man, good. Saying, yeah. You know what's up with you, man? What? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know it's false allegations. Man, you know what I'm saying? I just want to put it out there. You know? Nah, man. I just I love my wife, man. I don't care what. You know, a lot of haters out here. You know. And it, I, it, it, think it's, it's fate is real though. It's hard. Be, it's hard with social media. Yeah, but it ain't nothing to hide. I ain't finna hide because social media either. You know what I'm saying? And we appreciate you guys for joining us, And take off just returned. There you go. You missed it. Right in time. Just, it. Right in time for the crazy. end, take off. <laughs> Excuse me, my bad part, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, man, y'all don't ever change, okay? Please, I don't give a fuck how much money y'all make, how big y'all get in the industry. Don't fucking change. There you go. Okay? It's the Migos. It's Breakfast Club. Good morning.